Hello there, I'm going to take some time to show you guys how to download the Office 365 program to your home computer. More specifically, we're going to focus today on your Macs. So the first thing you're going to do is go to a Google or whatever your browser is. I'm going to type in VCS, and if you look here it says VCS vPortal, that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to click on the top choice. Up here at the top on our toolbar, I'm going to click on vPortal. This is where my students are able to get in and um, access their apps. So I'm going to click on click on to log in. Here I'm going to have to actually enter my username and password. So for in this instance and for this video, I'm going to use my daughter's. So I'm using her alpha at vcs, the number two go dot net. And then her password is her birthday, which is what everyone should be unless they've changed it for some reason. It's going to go ahead and log in. It's going to bring up an app page that looks similar to, if you're an iPhone user, your front page with all of your folders and apps. So the one I'm looking for right now is Office 365, so I'm going to click here. It's going to make me log in a few more times, and that's just because it's it's an outside of the school district computer, so it wants to make sure I'm really an, an authorized user. So I'm just going to log in using that one alpha at VCS number two go dot net. Click next. It's taking me to the sign in page, but I'm not really going to have to sign in again. I'm just going to have to answer the question. Yes, I want to stay signed in. Okay, so once I'm into my Office 365 suite, right here you're going to see where it says install Office. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on the one that says Office 365 apps. It's going to automatically start downloading um, in the bottom left right here where you see. It's going to take quite a bit of time, so I'll be back in just a moment to show you where to go once it downloads. Okay, so now that the downloading is complete, I'm going to click on it down here. So now it tells you you're going to be guided through the left so you, rest, so you pretty much just follow through what it asks you to. So continue, continue, agree, continue, install. I have to put my password in here. Might have been the wrong username. Just waiting for it to prepare for installation. And this is another step that might take a couple minutes. So you just have to kind of be patient. It's got a lot of components to it because it's adding all of the parts of Microsoft Office to your computer for you. Okay, so here I am in my installer. It finally finished installing. So I'm going to click close now. And it wants to know if I want to move the installer to the trash. It's not going to move the apps or anything, just the installer. So I'm going to click move to trash. So now when I go to my launch pad, as I scroll over, I should see all of the apps that I need. I may need to log in again the very first time I use them. So for example, when I open um, Microsoft Word, it may ask for that initial login and password again. So I'm just going to enter the one alpha at VCS number two go dot net. Um, but sometimes it doesn't make you. So I'm free to use my program now and start creating.